Mutant is a space to experiment. A complex yet highly intuitive visual interface that invites you to play with sound and create music in new ways. Moreover, it features a collaborative mode that allows you to engage in live sessions with other users. This video will help you in exploring the app. You will learn how to create soundscapes and rhythms and how to employ the Tesseract feature to generate versatile, multifaceted variations of a track, which lets you experience your music from new perspectives. Tesseracts, or hypercubes, are the basis of your session. Each of the cubes presents you with a different ambient mood that becomes the backdrop for your individual composition. Now, to get started, select one of seven hypercubes. Once you've entered a cube, you can access an inventory of instruments and effects through the square panels on the left and right hand columns. Let's play some notes on the synth by tapping or swiping the surface of the cube. All touch interactions are recorded and played back by loop recording. Once you've recorded a loop, change the acoustic parameters to play with the sound. Apply filters to shift frequencies. Change the dynamics by adjusting the envelope. Add chorus and vibrato effects. A core feature of Mutant is the possibility to diversify your musical experience by switching the perspective. Rotating the cube allows you to alternate between the cells of a hypercube, each time redefining the characteristics of your composition, such as root note and tempo, giving it a new feeling with each rotation. You can also do this by using the cell navigator. Once you've explored the melodic dimensions of the cube, you may want to add rhythm. To do this, tap or swipe to play three different drum elements. Once you have your drum notes, you can again apply filters. Change pitch and dynamics through the envelope. Add an echo effect. Or simply play with all the parameters at once, using the weird mode. When you've come up with a great sound, but you wish to continue exploring, take a snapshot of your current settings by tapping the star in the bottom right corner. You can return to it later. For a more complex, in-depth editing of your session, enter the Cell Editor. Here you can set the musical key, alter the pitch, change the speed, and add reverb to your mix. The menu on the left features a metronome a mute button for the background ambience and one for additional visuals. Let's hear what it sounds like with the new settings. We can complete the track with the bass. And the ARP synth. Take another snapshot. Now you can switch between snapshots to compare the sounds and use them as fixed starting points for new variations. If you'd like to make a recording of your work in progress, use the built-in audio recorder to create a WAV file. Finally, you can save all your snapshots into a session. In this video, 
you have learned how to create a piece of music using Mutant and to employ the Tazeract feature to generate multiple variations of your track so you can experience it from different perspectives. In the next video we will show you how to launch a live session with several participants using Mutant's collaborative mode.